G'day, today's video we're going to introduce you to surface logging for earth moving and this is all earth moving machinery. So let's uh, take a look. Alright, to get started with surface logging there's a couple of simple steps that need to be taken. From the F6 or the logging button you press and hold and this is where you can activate or deactivate surface logging. In this situation there's no surface log created so this feature is greyed out or disabled. To enable surface logging, we go to the main menu, into the as built page, in surface logging, we can then select the surface log, and then we have an addition button, so we can create a new surface log. The surface log name is mandatory, so that's why this field is circled in red, and you can create any name you like. Now the naming has to be unique, so you can't have two surface logs on the panel with the same name sharing the same name. Now when you have created the surface log you can choose which trigger method you'd like. So the auto function is when the blade can be controlled by MC1, the blade or the bucket, and when the machine goes into auto mode it'll automatically create the surface log or activate the surface log. The next option is a height so you can apply a height to the reference model and when the tool operates below this height that's when logging will be activated. The last selection here is a model so you can select a model from within the project and that model will then be the actual trigger for your surface log. For this purpose we're just going to go into the height. Now here you can change the height to whatever you like we're just going to keep it a meter for now and then we finish the wizard and we can see that what you've created. Back in the run screen we can go back to this logging button push and hold and now we have surface logging active. So now we'll select that and you'll see on this button here on the logging button we now have a green tag that says logging. That has three states. When it's in standby the background of that logging button will be yellow when it's active, so the, the tool point is below the trigger point, it will be green, so it's actively logging. And there's a third state when you manually activate and it will turn green and the manual will be displayed instead of logging. In manual mode, the last tool pass is recorded. In logging with height as a trigger, or with a model as a trigger, the lowest pass is recorded. When we log in auto, that's the last pass recorded. So, when you have your surface log created, we can see that the tool's above the trigger layer at the moment, and the logging is in standby. When the tool is operated below that layer, logging becomes active, and we have graphics on the 2D views, the long slope and the cross slope, as well as the 3D views of and top view. So once the surface log has been created, you can choose to visualize the surface log in the run screen or not under as built in the command center by turning the visualization off. Here, the logging will continue in the background, but the operator won't be blinded by the surface log. If we turn that back on, with the same method. We can also have options within the surface log settings for the color. So we can choose how many colors we have in the heat map and we can also choose the distance between those heat map color changes. So if we wanted to change the blue for something else just for demonstration purposes we can do so there and if we wanted to change the value in which that changes the color, we do that in that setting. Now back in the run screen, we can see that that has an effect on what the operator sees. The heat map colors are determined by the distance between the surface log, or the trigger for the surface log, and the target height. Now the target height is the reference model, the height reference model, with or without an offset applied to it. We can also have the option to view the surface log 
as a solid surface and not a grid uh, by that selection there. So there's some customization the operator can benefit from. In situations where the operator may have overdug and needs to do a fill situation or a correction to the surface log, the manual feature is key for this uh, workflow. With the press of the logging button, a single press, that will activate manual, log, manual surface logging. In addition to that feature, a external button can be configured and installed on the machine so the operator doesn't have to reach to the panel. And that's all we have for surface logging. Um, thank you. Thanks for your time.